Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Uh, today I have another pick a card reading video here for you and today we are looking at what you have in store for yourself the month of November. Um, so that is the intention that I put in while meditating on the cards um, to find out if there are any messages that Spirit, uh, the Divine or God may have for you um, for the month of November. So today I'm doing something different. I have these little trinkets to make it easier for you to choose uh, and pick whatever group that you may feel most drawn to. Feel free to choose either the cards or the trinkets. Um, however, I would request you to go with your intuition and not just by sight. Um, I will be inserting an overhead shot of these cards for you to look at. You could pause and meditate on them and then pick the pile that you feel most drawn to. The timestamps are down in the description box below so feel free to skip ahead to the part where I do your reading. Um, that being said, if you do like the video, if it resonates with you, please do give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, I will be making more videos. Um, and if you have any suggestions or if you would like to share your story with me, I would love to read that. So please feel free to leave that in the comment section down below as well. That being said, uh, let's just move into the readings right after I insert the timestamp um, plus overhead shot now. Hi everyone, this is the reading for everyone who selected group number one uh, and this beautiful trinket that we have here, which I'm going to set out on the side. So let's see what the month of November has in store for you. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords, the Magician, Seven of Cups in Reverse, the Knight of Cups, Four of Wands, Nine of Cups, Five of Cups, Justice, and Death. Alright, a lot of cup energies. So it may be possible that you are dealing with somebody who is a water sign. Um, but that is only just an indication that's not necessarily the entire truth it might just be that there is a lot of emotional energy that is surrounding you in the month of november so starting off we have the five of swords now this card talks about um, not being able to communicate very well or getting involved in some sort of quarrel so I do see that you are carrying forward this energy which may be uh, resulting from the month of October the previous months or whatever just previous energy in general that is being carried forward um, which is of some sort of unrest or um, some sort of struggle some sort of miscommunication fighting but and I do see that this may be because um, because there's too much on your plate. So um, I feel that you may feel overburdened with the amount of projects slash thoughts uh, slash issues. Just take it as it resonates. But there's just a lot that's going on in your life right now. And um, so I feel that may be why you are going through this period of unrest. You're trying to understand why these energies, um, how to deal with these energies and um, how you could sort everything out, put everything in boxes, categorize things in your life. So just trying to reorganize yourself, trying to figure out yourself um, and figure out your situation which may seem slightly confusing for you right now so it is also possible that you are on some sort of crossroads where you have two or more options for yourself 
um, and it's just difficult for you to pick out what may be correct for you. That is just one of the situations. As I said, um, take it as it resonates. I just see that there is some sort of some sort of clarity that is missing within the situation that you are dealing with at this moment. You do have the Magician card and this card reminds me um, of, well, what I'm channeling right now is that what your intention is, what is what you will eventually see in your life. So if you do think of thoughts um, which are such as, uh, I don't know how I'm going to figure out this situation. I don't know if I'll ever come out of this. Um, I don't know what the right decision may be. So if you do think of those negative thoughts, that is what you are going to bring into your life. So the magician is a card of manifesting. Um, so what I'm really channeling right now is that be careful what you ask for because, or be careful what you say because you might actually bring that into your life. So if you think of more positive things, then there will be more positive things coming. Um, I must point out that, and I, I did say this before, I did mention this before, that there is a lot of cups energy. So this situation that you are going through right now, um, maybe coming out of a relationship or you may be in a situation where you have um, two people to decide from, something like that. Um, but then what I do see for you is that you have the Knight of Cups and uh, you have the Four of Wands. So I do see that emotional stability is flowing into your life. And so the Knight of Cups um, may be a person for some people who is now coming into your lives you're moving out of this period of unrest and into something more beautiful something more stable something that you deserve something that is going to give you happiness now the the nine of cups is the card this was in reverse but then the the most beautiful thing about the nine of cups is that and I read this somewhere that even the most um, negative interpreters of the tarot have nothing negative to say about the nine of cups in the reverse. So this is a beautiful card irrespective. And then you have all these very beautiful, very gentle energies that are coming in uh, towards you in the month of November. So you have the king of cups, you have um, the four of wands and you have the nine of cups. So I do see with the Knight of Cups that this energy is moving into your life, giving you stability with the Four of Wands, um, giving your sense of passion back towards life and um, you feeling happy about how things are going on for you. I see that you are going to invest yourself um, in redeveloping yourself. Um, so that may be something that you are involved in and if it's not a person which for most of you I do feel that there is somebody who is coming in but if it's not a person then um, maybe it's just a change in energies that is happening um, where you choose to develop yourself in a more positive manner towards a more positive situation in life. Now you have the five of cups in reverse and then you have the justice card in reverse so with the five of cups in reverse is uh, what i'm seeing is that you are letting go um of previous energy so this person who may be coming into your life or this energy that is shifting towards you is going to help you introspect intensely and you are going to um be healing yourself so this person might this person might even be helping you, you know, talking things out with you, opening up to you um, so that so that you can heal your wounds from whatever previous unrest 
you know, you have been carrying into the future. So um, you're letting go of the sorrows. You're going to start looking at the more positive things in life. And um, there's going to be a lot of healing. So whatever energies that may feel like were not necessarily the best for you are now going to come to a full closure and you are going to feel that you have now received justice so karmic situations may be coming to an end um beginning of new cycles and then i do see that with the death card as well so there is definitely this feeling of beginning of a new cycle so a lot of healing energy a lot of A lot of transformational energy, a lot of opening up, talking your, talking about your wounds, talking about your past. And if that is not something that you do as a person, then um, the message that I'm really channeling is that if you do that, it's going to be very beneficial for you. So talking things out with somebody um, in your life who is ready to listen to those things um, is what is indicated for you here and that is going to take you forward into a new cycle into a new era um, of energies flowing into your life so you can then structure your life um, as you would please because then you would be ending closing the cycle of hurt and entering into a new cycle where you could give in those energies and then i do see that with the magician card that you do have the ability of uh, making things come to you in your life so um it would be definitely a beautiful thing if you do move into this more fresh energy where you could think of more positive things into your existence so group number one, that is a beautiful reading um, and the month of November seems pretty eventful for you. Um, I do hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, I would request you to please um, leave your story down in the comment section below. I would love to read um, how it resonated with you and if you do have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Um, please do like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because I will be making more videos like this and um so i hope to see you soon again thank you very much bye hi everyone this is the reading for everyone who selected group number two and this beautiful trinket here i'm going to set this aside and then let's see what is in store for you in the month of november so we have the empress in reverse we have the world we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Cups in Reverse, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Wands. Group number two, let's see what we have in store for you. So you have the empress in reverse the world and the queen of swords so i see that you have taken a step in your life where you have chosen to close a cycle where you have chosen to bring things to an end so if this situation in if the situation has been dragging on for some time now um, and if you thought that you did have the option of turning it into something else or if you felt that you were being forced into turning it into something else you have now bring that situation on your on your own terms to a conclusion so you have the world card and the world card talks about completion of cycles so i do see that whatever the situation that you were involved in you have chosen to bring that to a halt to an end and then you have the queen of swords energy so again this energy is just giving me um vibes of you know cutting out something, severing something from from um, the rest of the body. 
bringing something that was not serving you to a full stop. So that is the energy that I'm getting with the Queen of Swords um, over here. That's some very powerful energy. And then the Eight of Pentacles. So I see that the situation that was um, maybe in your recent past or you are going to get to um, is going to lead you to... I'm sorry, my dog was acting weird. Um, is going to lead you to... I <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so this energy of completion is going to um, make you go into a situation where you start working on yourself. So with the Eight of Pentacles, you are going to start putting in um, a lot of effort into developing this empty space that you now have in your life because you have cut out what is unnecessary from your life. You have the Ace of Cups. So I do feel that this might be... I assume what's wrong. No, no, no. Okay, down. I'm sorry, guys. Down. So this might be um, a matter of, of heart, of relationships, or just a friendship. Um, but it might involve a person who you've chosen to remove from your life and uh, with the ace of cups this is a card of beginnings but it's in reversal i see that it's going to take some effort with the eight of pentacles um for you to now fill in that space that you have in your life but i see that you there's a lot of forward motion so so you are very much determined, um, you have very much made up your mind about this decision and you have very much chosen to go forth with this. And I feel like um, it might be a little scary for some of you to move forward into this new um, space in your life um, and the Fool card represents that. So it's like you've taken this leap of faith um, in the month of November and and you're basically playing your odds with this situation. I do sense that this may lead you to feel kind of kind of lost. But then but then here's the thing, okay? So you have as I mentioned at the beginning of the reading, you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have the World, and you have the Empress. So these are major arcanas. What I'm really channeling right now is that whatever this is, the situation that you are in right now, is going to lead you to a better outcome. It is happening for a reason. So the month of November may seem a little confusing at times for you but what i'm channeling is that you must go forward with what your decision is at this time and that is for the highest good of everyone who is involved in this situation um i feel that you need to take your time out with yourself because that is what spirit is asking you to do. That is where life is asking you to go. That being said, group number two, I would request you to keep moving forward with um, whatever work that you are planning on putting in yourself in the month of November because um, you do have the Wheel of Fortune and this card just leaves this beautiful energy all over the, the, the reading and I do see that it's going to be very fruitful for you. So group number two, I do hope that resonated with you and um, on that note, 
I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hi everyone, this is the reading for everyone who selected group number three and this beautiful trinket that we have here. So I'm going to put that on the side and let's get straight into your reading. So you have temperance in reverse. You have the four of swords. You have the king of cups in reverse. You have the chariot in reverse. You have the two of pentacles in reverse. You have the ten of, sorry, you have the two of pentacles straight right side up, not in reverse. You have the ten of cups in reverse. Um, you have the four of pentacles in reverse. You have the queen of pentacles in reverse. You have the three of cups and you guys got another card. So you have the ace of wands. Alright, group number three. Okay, this is very interesting because I see a lot of confusing energies here. Um, and not to get scared or anything though, let's talk about it. Um, so you have the temperance in reverse. So what I see with this card is temperance is a card of patience. But temperance being in reverse, it is indicated that you are now ready to move forward with the situation. And that you may be planning, plotting or trying to work out the logistics of how to move forward with this situation at this time. So you're putting in that thought in this in this sense. Um, I do see a lot of cups energy so it might be making a move in a relationship um, which is why it's a big deal. So you have the king of cups so there is this and it's in reverse so there is the sense of wanting to um, win over someone wanting to take whatever situation that you are in currently to the next step excuse me and then what's opposing is that you have the chariot in reverse and then you have the two of pentacles in reverse and then you have the ten of cups in reverse so now this thought that you're putting in, I feel like you might be scared to take that move with the chariot in reverse. You, you want to, you're getting impatient about the situation, but you're scared to actually make this move. And I feel like that's because you're, you're scared that you might not be able to balance out the situation that surrounds you in your life. And that, and that scares you a little bit because I do sense that you are the kind of person who who wants this fulfillment, you want this happiness with the person who, well you guys know who I'm talking about, uh, you guys know better who I'm talking about and you guys want that happiness with this person but you guys are kind of scared. But in the month of November my friends. I see you letting go of old patterns. So whatever belief that you were holding on very tightly to, I see that you are letting go of it. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So I see that if you if you were being very controlling over a situation, over a thought that you had in your head, you're kind of letting it go. You're you're letting a new thought come into your head. You're 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 allowing yourself to be seen in a situation that may be different and I see that that there is a lot of happiness that is there for you so the three of cups is a card of partnership so that might be something that a lot of you are thinking of like getting into this or taking the situation ship into the next level um, and turning it into something more concrete something more physical something more real um, and then you have the ace of wands in reverse so 
I do see things manifesting for you um, however it is completely up to you to choose how you want the situation to be so I do see that once you go through this process in the month of November of putting in that thought about what you want and I do feel that somewhere in your head you've already decided what it is that you want with the temperance in reverse and the four of swords here and the king of cups in reverse so you have made a decision is just that you are a little scared of executing that decision but I do see that you will be letting go of these worries and these doubts that surround you and I and I sense that it may be that you are thinking of these worries or doubts um, being related to work because pentacles is a card of of work or um, job or occupation so I do see that these worries might be resulting uh, from you trying to balance out your work life with other things that are there in your life um, but manifestations are totally up to you in your hand because once you choose to actually take that move actually make the move actually take that leap there is a lot of happiness for you and the ace of wands so i see a lot of passion in the situation as well um once you move into this new energy all <laughs> right group number three that's a beautiful reading and um it is pretty straightforward i the only um, advice that I'm channeling from spirit here is that trust yourself and trust your decision and trust in the universe to provide you with good. Um, on that note, I do hope that you have a great month ahead um, and I hope to see you soon again. Bye.